Let me give you a quick update here. Uh, the lieutenant has called back. I, I missed his name. He refused to give me the name of the second guy who refused to give me his name. Okay, and they made light of the fact. They said, "Oh, well, we'll just say that uh, that Clem, the husband, is just." Um, called you in talking gibberish and he did it in a condescending manner as if none of this even matters okay and you know the real issue is that this guy is calling me at all I don't know him you know, why is he calling me and I and I explained to them that this man uh, doesn't sound stable but did they give a shit no they didn't and then it got really salty with the second guy when I told him that Tanya uh, knew uh, had reason to believe that Clem knows people on the police force then he got really pissy with me well, that's okay. You can get pissy all you want to when I come out there with my cameras and get you. All right? Sometimes life isn't all flowers, and it certainly isn't coming up daisies right now for Tanya Andrews. She's a woman who is being put out of her own home. Uh, she's recently learned that her husband, Clem uh, Anukiberry, uh, has been charged in, the, in his past, was charged with uh, sodomy and aggravated uh, battery. And uh, there are issues there uh, in the marriage, and she has repeatedly gone to the police for help. She ends up getting put, in, getting put out of her own house and uh, can't get any, any uh, sort of judicial relief either. So it's very puzzling. I called the police today. The first exchange that you're about to hear right now was, was fairly good. Then another guy calls me back, and he was a real jerk and refused to give me his name. And then I told him that I'm recording the conversation. He said, you didn't tell me that. And I said, yes, I say it at the beginning of every conversation. And then he refused to give me his name and hung up. And now at this point, I've contacted them again and asked for the supervisor to call me back, patrol supervisor. Because so help me God, if anything happens to that woman, I haven't seen her in eight years. But I'm telling you, this Clem guy, he called me out of the blue a couple months ago. All right, I didn't even know the guy. And he and I told them that he was the second fellow. I told him that this Clem guy was approaching me in a very erratic manner, talking all kind of crazy talk. And you know, these are recipes for disaster in the making. And God damn it, if they don't do anything about it, I'm going out there with my cameras well, and we're going to start documenting it. Something's not right here. That's going on between Tanya Andrews and uh, Clem An Anukuberi. Did you want to report Yes, I'm an investigative journalist and uh, there's a situation that, that he's called me and I don't feel that the situation is safe for her and I know she's being put out of her own house. And I believe the guy has a record for sodomy and assault, and I think it's a recipe for disaster, quite honestly. But anyway, let me, uh, I got to inform you, by the way, I am, I am taping this, and uh, but I do need to speak to somebody about the situation because I, I want to make note that I'm a potential witness.